Hello, my Floss Tube friends. It's time for another episode. Hi, everybody, and welcome to another Fun Friday Floss Tube Weekly Update with me. I am Annie Joyfield Stitcher, both here on YouTube and over on Instagram, so feel free to check me out over there. Not that I posted more than five photos in July, but that's okay. I'm going to do better in August. Anywho. It is Friday, August 6th, and this is Floss Tube number 116, and you have reached a video and my channel that's about cross-stitch and other crafty things. So, I hope you are having a great day today, or morning, or evening, or weekend, or whenever you are having a chance to watch this. If you're anything like me, you are always significantly far behind on YouTube Floss Tube watching. That's me consistently. This week has flown by. I have worked on quite a few projects. Um, I am working on Uno this month, which is a, or you know, I can't, I don't know if they're calling it Uno or you know, um, you dash in O to avoid like copyright trademark stuff, but it's a game where you pick four whips and then based on whatever the wheel that is chosen, by uh, the admins, it, it tells you which project to work on, which one of those four. So I have some of that to share with you. Actually, I had a finish this week. I did FFO something. It's a finish you've already seen. I unfortunately gifted that FFO before taking a picture of it or showing it here um, because it was my dear friend's birthday. And so I gave it to her for her birthday. Um, I will try to get a picture of it this next week and share it in the video because I think she was going to hang it up in her office at work. We work together. Anyway, so in this week has been great. Um, I don't have much in the way of Joyfield Stash Stash. I do have a spoiler alert at the end of the video. I am going to share the um, Black Needle Society Autumn and Stars Hollow Box. I'm sure you've seen it elsewhere. I just want to share with you because it by far, I think, is my overall 100% most favorite box that I have gotten from the Black Needle Society. And that is saying a lot because I like a lot of them. A lot. I'm saying a lot, a lot. <laughs> but one thing, the big elephant in the room this week, is that I forgot hugs last week. So for those of you who pointed it out, Oh my gosh, I felt terrible. I don't typically forget things that have become so part of this culture of my channel. So, we're going to do hugs. First thing, off the bat, right after intro, so that we can make sure I don't forget them this time. And my sincerest apologies to those of you who really might have needed that virtual hug last week and were not able to get it from me. I do apologize. So, we're going to do our hugs. We do virtual hugs here, with the exception of last week's video and one or two other ones I forgot early on. So again, let's get our hug in. So here we go. We're going to do a hug on each side and we're going to hug ourselves. So here we go. Hug on this side. Mm -hmm. We're going to do a hug on this side. Mm -hmm. And then we're going to hug mm -hmm. ourselves. Take a deep breath in and out. And let's just talk about some stitching. So let me start with my finish. So this project had a birthday. I started this on August 3rd of last year. It is one of the Be Well and Stitch uh, charts that kind of went around during the spring slash early summer of 2020. And this one is from Hands on Design and it's Choose Happy. Um, sorry for the poor printing. This was just the state of my printer at the time that I printed this copy. It might still actually be available. Um, I would check the Hands on Design website, which is www.handsondesign.biz, B-I-Z. And I think it should still be up there. I stitched this on a 32 count Lugana in French Blue, I believe. Yes, French Blue from um, Hand Dive by Stephanie. And this is the finish that I got. So I did not actually put in the Be Well in the grass. I just chose to do Choose Happy. Um, so yeah, August 3rd was my first day back at work last fall. And I thought this was a very happy, helped me be in the right mind. And then I worked on it some, and then I worked on it again later in the fall. And then it just sat languishing. So I knew I wanted to finish it. 
So I had all of the green stems to do, the green grass, this, like the earth, and then the yellow, yellow little pollens. Um, and so let me tell you which flosses I used because I did swap out a few. So I used, um, for the grass, Classic Colorworks Mossy. I used, this was when I was using Weeks Dye Works. Um, I just really don't enjoy it. This is a Weeks Dye Works Aztec Red. I believe that's as called for. I have DMC 597, which is the turquoisey color. I have DMC 166, which I used for the lighter green accents. For the yellow, we have Victoria Motto Spanish Gold. And then for the lettering, which is where I deviated, I think, the most, the lettering and the kind of earth looking is Victorian Motto Country Violets. I actually used all of my like one skein that I pulled for it. So yeah, it's a finish. I don't know how I will fully finish it yet, um, but I was excited to have this one checked off of my whip list. So I'm gonna fold that differently so it doesn't have that perma crease right in the middle. And this one has been living in a Love You More studio sleeve. It's um, a cute one with squirrel on it. Also in a Love You More studio sleeve. I have um, a project I showed last week. This is Doreen Jones. This is Joy. This one was in the Ultimate Cross Stitch Christmas issue 2018. However, it is now available on her Etsy shop. Um, I actually went and bought it off of her Etsy shop. Even though I have the copy from the magazine, I was working out of a, it was like a, it was like the magazine, like screenshots from the magazine I purchased, the digital magazine. Um, and I wanted a cleaner chart to work on because it says a lot of backstitch um, and things like that. So I wanted to go ahead and purchase it. It was very reasonable. It's in her Etsy shop, which is Doreen, D-U-R-E-N-E, -E, Jones. And if you just search that, it'll come up. And then I'm stitching the whole thing in color and cotton doll. Yes, this is deviating from the original. The original is like a flax, natural flax colored linen with think it's like a winter white either DMC 3865 it's one of the whites I'm going totally different Dahlia is one of my most favorite coloring cottons um I love this floss I have a lot of it but that is okay I am stitching this on a 28 count Monaco which is an even weave that I purchased from a hand dyer on Stash Unloading. She might have her own website now. I'm not sure. It's a really pretty gray. Uh, the dyer is Oxana. Um, and I got quite a bit more done. So when I showed this last, I think I had all of the O. Or close to all of the O. Actually, I don't think I had all of it. So I went ahead and started to outline the J. I did this whole flourish here connected. I am obsessed. I cannot wait to have this back out again. I love it. If nothing else, I'm going to stitch the word joy. I don't know how much of all the other detailing I will do, um, but of course, joy. I have lots of different projects I've stitched over, over time that have the word joy in them or something like I've changed the word to joy. And so my ultimate goal would be to like turn those into a wall hanging of some kind, almost like a quilted wall hanging. So anywho, that one got some progress, which is great. I did work a little bit on our staycation on my 12 days of Christmas by Satsuma Street. I have not gotten any time really in it this week, um, which is unfortunate, but this next week I'm recommitting. I kind of took a week off and I'm going to recommit to 25-7 on this, which is the idea of Julie McConnell, which is either 25 minutes or 25 stitches in your project seven days a week. Um, and I use this one for the whole month of July. This is 12 Days of Christmas. It is by Satsuma Street. I purchased the uh, digital version, the PDF version, off of her Etsy shop. I love it. This is version B. When you purchase it, you get version A, which is all of them together laid out with a border. Or you can do version B, which is the ornaments. Very reasonably priced. I am stitching this on um, 18 count white. I'm looking for the ones that I have finished to show you. 
sorry, 18 count white Ada from Zweigert. So what did I get done? I finished the third, the three French hen, three French hen, the French hen with the three on it. So I, all I had to do was a bunch of this fill in. I love this one. I love this one. Oh my gosh. It's so good. So th three French hen is done. Um, I put some more time into my five gold rings, which is fitting because we're in the Olympics and the Olympics have five rings. So I did some more time. I got all the rings stitched. So I have a bit more down here to do. This pattern repeats up here and then there's some within the, the rings themselves. So there is some more of this to do. And then, and then, and then I started on the outline for number six, which is the six swans a swimming. So as you can see, I'm doing my, um, on two sides, well, not just two sides, all the sides. I kind of stitch to the 10th stitch. I stitch half stitches until the 10th stitch, and then I do a full X, and then I go across. That helps me to count, and then down and back. And I know um, one of my friends, my floss tube friends, commented that it didn't work well for them, that they ended up with... Um, like you could see where it was. I have not run into that. So I don't know if I'm just doing it differently. I'm not sure. This is two strands over the one square of Ada. The Joy is was also two strands over the two threads of the even weave. And then the Choose Happy was two, two threads of floss over two strands of Lugana. Whew, that was a lot to get out. All right, so then let's talk about my UNO projects. So I last week had talked about what my UNO projects were going to be. And I talked about that I for sure wanted to get Christmas Tree of Magic out as well as, um, I don't think I talked about this project, but this is a project that I did not get all of my days in. So this is Barbara Anna Designs. This is All Creatures Great and Small. It is huge. It is a very large chart, but I love, I am not, I have tried being a sampler stitcher. Y'all have watched me try being a sampler stitcher and I've abandoned most all of my samplers. This one, however, is Barbara Anna's spin on a sampler. And so I love it. There are so many unique things. It's a sampler. But it's got, like I said, Barbara Anna's spin on it. Um, and I love the verse, obviously. It's all things bright and beautiful. All creatures great and small. All things wise and wonderful. The Lord God made them all. And so I am working this on a piece of 18 count Ada. It's a hand dyed, unnamed, kind of mystery dye from Oxana. And this has been rolled once. But I worked a lot. I am doing the non-counting version. Um, there are different versions. This is um, Uno, which is, I didn't say this earlier. I'm sorry. It's in the group Semi-Sane Stitchers. I don't know if it's currently closed to new members. I'm not sure. I, I don't, I'm not really in the know about that. So I got a bunch more done in this grass. So basically what I'm doing, because this is a grassy mound, is I am basically stitching outlines that I'm filling in. So I've got some more fill in over here that I could do. And then as you can see, I've started outlining this, outlining this animal. There's some more fill in up here. And then I've got this whole other side. I don't know the next time this is spun, which actually may be today, I'm not sure, if I will continue with the hill or move back into the house because that's a lot more fill in or move on to something else. I don't know, we'll, we shall see. You shall see next week because I feel certain this will come up once. I don't know. Maybe it won't. Um, and I am stitching this, like I said, on the 18 count with two strands of floss. And I have done my own kind of conversion to just things from my stash. So we've got some color and cotton in here. We've got a lot of color and cotton in here. We've got some DMC, some classic color works, some gentle arts, some Victoria Motto. So there's a lot of good, awesome colors kind of a little I kind of tried to make some of them pop be a little more variegated I've seen this stitched in the anchor and the anchor colors I think do the pattern more justice than the DMC conversion I originally started this in the DMC and I was like I'm gonna need some excitement especially in that green hill <laughs> I need some excitement 
So this is actually in a bag from Stitching the High Notes, Joanna. She makes beautiful bags. This was one from her either winter, yeah, I think her winter collection last year. It's got an owl knitting. It's so cute. This is her cross stitch kind of flat bag. I love that it has a handle. I love the Essex like glittery linen up on top. Love it. It's beautifully crafted. So stitching the high notes. I love her. The other project that is getting worked on that I, I think I mentioned this one last week. This is Christmas tree. Another Barbara Anna. Um, for those of you that are new, I have a mild, okay, let's be honest. I have a very big obsession with Barbara Anna as a designer. I love absolutely everything she designs. I cannot live long enough to stitch everything. So I'm kind of having to be more like thoughtful about what I want to stitch of hers. This is one that she partnered with Nitka Moscow. That's N-I-T-K-A Moscow. You can find her on Instagram, Nitka Moscow, and there's a link to her website. Some of Barbara Anna's designs, she has partnered with Nitka Moscow exclusively to create a kit. So this was a kit. Uh, Tree of Magic is another kit that I have. There's Miss Scissors, Miss Teapot, Miss Coffee. I don't have all those. I have Miss Scissors. Then there was the Four Seasons Girls. So there's been a lot of really neat ones they do. They come in and out of stock based on the availability of the Zweigert fabric as well as the flosses. But this is a beautiful one. This is a Christmas tree is the name of this one. It comes with the DMC flosses, beautifully carded, more than enough. You, won't, you will not run short. And this one is on a 25 count Lugana in this beautiful blue color. I don't know the exact name, but I spent some more time working in some of the reds. There's some red up here in someone's outfit. And I came down here and worked on the poinsettias a bit. So I'm just kind of color completing in sections. Um, that's kind of the best way I found to work them um, and see progress more quickly. This one I threw in because the one nice thing about this is if you finish a project, you can sub in something else. So I thought, okay, what a great way to put in my pieces that I need to get finished for Christmas. So I started with the blue flower cozy Christmas cat. I am stitching this for my sister-in-law. I know for a fact I am stitching the cat. I have not decided about the um, cute berries around. We'll see because I want to do this as a small ornament. Um, I'm stitching it pretty much in the called for DMC and this is on a 18 count piece of color and cotton Ada in an unknown kind of light blue and so I finished filling in the sweater outlined the gr light green and this is the green of the eyes and then I've started in on the body and the body is one of the places I have pulled in a different floss so I am using Gentle Arts cast iron skillet because I think that's a perfect color for a neat little uh, black cat. So I actually have some more time I need to put into this because I chose this as my wild card piece yesterday. If I finish this, I am pulling out Amazing Grace, which is my dad's piece for Christmas. And then if I happen to finish that one, I'm going to pull out my mom's ornaments for Christmas. My brother's is already done. So net, the last thing I worked on this week for Uno, I decided to put in Flea Market Flowers because I really enjoy stitching on this. It moves pretty fast. So this is Flea Market Flowers from Lori Holtz of Be In My Bonnet. It, you can purchase it on Fat Quarter Shop. I am stitching it on a 14 count. I think it's called Light Gray Gingham Ada. It's from Fabric Flare. I also purchased that off of uh, Fat Quarter Shop. Sorry, I lost my train of thought. And so what I have done so far this time is I finished out this. I only had part of this leaf outlined. So finish this leaf, these two leaves, and this flower, and I've come down and started the greenery down here. So I think that's kind of what I'm gonna do is put in the greenery into each block and then stitch the flowers and or just do all the greenery and then come back. That's a lot of green though. But this is what I have so far. So I am obviously supremely behind the stitch along long finished. Um, I think it was finished back in early July and I'm still on section two but that is okay because I'm enjoying it and I just pulled flosses from my stash 
beautiful. They go right, kind of right along with the called for, but I did not want to do either the called for or I think that their conversion was Weeks Dye Works. So I've got Forbidden Fiber Co. I've got Mo Sale, some silk. I've got Color and Cotton, of course. I am obsessed with all things Color and Cotton. I love Forbidden Fiber Co. too. I've been stitching a bit with this really pretty celery green. Awesome to stitch with. Gentle Arts, more Color and Cotton, more Color and Cotton. Classic Color Works, I have this really pretty Crab Cakes. That's such a fun color. Um, more color and cotton, more color and cotton, more color and cotton. That's the story, color and cotton. Um, so that being said, that's what I worked on. Now, what am I going to be working on? Well, pretty much what you've seen because I am still playing, you know, and so the four that you saw at the end will be hopefully all come out this week to be stitched on. So that's some plan. Um, I don't believe I have anything else with a birthday for the entire month. So I am on to all just stitching on whips that are not birthday related. And then I do want to go ahead and get some time this week in on 12 days of Christmas. So yeah, um, that's kind of all, all I've got going on, I think. I know some people mentioned in the comments last week that they are doing also Uno. Um, I know some other folks are doing Arbitrary August. I know Jessie Marie of Jessie Marie Does Stuff is doing Arbitrary August. I know Sarah of Stitch and Mommy, she's doing Arbitrary August. She started Arbitrary August, so I think that's cool. Um, and then looking forward, September and October, full of birthdays. So there will be a lot of birthday stitching. You will see a lot of whips come out in September and October. So that's plans. That's what I worked on. The remainder of this video, and I've got my box turned the wrong way for my thing on the front. Okay. <laughs> it doesn't fit. It's joy-filled stashy stash time. It's joy-filled stashy stash time. And I have a big box today that doesn't fit in my bin. So I received, I purchased this um, as a pre-order back in the spring at some point. I want to say maybe back in March. But this is the Autumn and Stars Hollow special. It's like the retreat in a box. It's actually going to have a virtual retreat coming soon um, from the Black Needle Society. Now, this is major spoiler alert because I know some people have ordered this and maybe not received it. I typically get my stuff pretty quick. They're in Missouri. I'm in Texas. Typically, it comes pretty quickly. So, spoiler alert, this box is awesome, but I don't want to spoil anybody who has not received it yet. This is the first of four seasonal Stars Hollow boxes. I did not know that, but that's pretty cool. And I hope, fingers crossed, I will be able to get the other three because I think that if you participate in one, at least in the past, you get first crack at the rest. So that's really cool. So let's see what came in here. Well, the first thing you have your literature, you have all about, and I love the gazebo with the autumn leaves, but it has all the details of what's in the box. And then I thought it was really cool. They also, in the, it folds out this time and you've got a kind of art print of the old names of Stars Hollow. So, you know, Soros and Boyle Alley. If you're not familiar with um, Gilmore Girls, a lot of this will maybe go a little over your head. It's a show I highly recommend, um, but it's not to everyone's taste. Oh, and to those of you who are saying Bridgerton is not your taste, I will say after getting sucked into the books, the books are more my speed than the show. So just putting that out there. All right, there was coffee cake mix from uh, Carrie Lee's special specialties cinnamon swirl coffee cake and we made this this morning and it's delicious highly recommend this company i'm so happy that we got to try something so i will be looking to see if there's anything else from that company because i have a little baker in the house in this little raffia bag it just fell out we have some floss jewelry we have a key to the dragonfly inn we have a key to room number seven so i thought that was really cute then we have in this, I thought this was awesome. So in this little envelope, we have some cards, like stickers that can go on the back of your works that's for Kim's Antiques. So it has a place for the title, the designer, the fabric, the threads, when you began it, when you finished it, who it was stitched by. And then of course, Kim's Antiques, she always says, Mrs. Kim always says, you break, you buy, you break, you buy. 
So at the bottom it says you break, you buy. So these are fantastic, fantastic. Then we have a super cute little necklace from Wickwish. I know they have worked alongside Wickwish before. It may be kind of hard to see, but it's a little, it's the coffee cup that says Luke's. So a really cute little necklace. I don't know if I was supposed to get two, but I got two cuts of Fiber on a Whim 16 Count Ada in presenting Lorelei Gilmore. I actually need to reach out. I just have not had a chance and make sure that I'm supposed to have two of these because if I'm not, I will send one back because I don't want somebody to be without and me to have two. I got the Ada option. Um, this is kind of not in order because I pulled everything out, looked at it. This is not a true unboxing. So we got a big bag that's Inomnia Paratus, which is you jump, I jump, Jack. And I love it. So cool. Don't know what's going to go in there yet. And then we have Al's Pancake World Mystery Specialty Floss. So I'm super pumped about this because they partnered with Color and Cotton and Color and Cotton came out with Gilmore Girls themed floss. So we have Hello Mary. We have A Deer Hit Me. We have 4.03 a.m., which is the time that Rory was born. We have I'm All In and Copper Boom. Again, these all have like, if you know, you know. If you know, you know. So, so pretty. I'm going to twist these all back up, put them in here, keep them safe for now until I can go put them away. And then let's see what else we got. So we have a bookmark. It's like on wood chip and it has Rory's oil painting on one side and on the other it has her bookshelf. So it has mementos, like a snow globe. It has, you know, the picnic basket from the festival. It has the Jeep and then the books all have sentimental things, excuse me, as well. We have our exclusive needle minder with super cool new packaging. Love it. And this one was from the Glow Forge. And it says, this is the last time I buy anything just because it's furry. So again, if you know, you know. It's cowboy boot and an alarm clock. Then we have, I think this is not all of it. Okay, so hold on. Then we have our chart. So this is the Ottoman Stars Hollow chart. Katie charted this. So it has lots of different things that are kind of go along with the autumn theme of Gilmore Girls. So you've got Rory's plaid skirt. You've got Luke Steiner. You've got the Yale versus Harvard game. You've got um, the corn maze. You have the gazebo all decorated. You have Copper Boom. You have I Will Follow. So what's kind of cool, though, is that this will be one of four charts. So this is actually center, center right. And so I'm guessing that the words of this of the kind of theme song, where you lead, I will follow. So I think that that will be across the top, kind of, in some way, shape or form. I'm doing my hands like this a lot. So I apologize if that's like, but I'm excited. I want to do them all. So now the last cool thing. So we got this little pack of these super adorable cards. They're recipe cards. So we have Emily's Bloody Mary. These are all kind of autumn themed. So then we have the Rory. So that was um, her drink, her signature cocktail from uh, her 21st birthday. Then we have Norman Mailer's favorite iced tea. Norman Mailer, I'm pregnant. Mrs. Kim's egg salad sandwich. However, I will say this. This actually has eggs and not tofu. Then we have Suki's magic risotto. Very exciting. Blueberry shortcake. Suki's peach sauce. And then we have Suki's Fried Stuffed Squash Blossoms and Jackson's Deep Fried Turkey. Jackson, Jackson. And now here's the super cool thing that goes along with this. You have Eat Like a Gilmore. It has like autumn theming. It's got Luke and... <laughs> Sorry. I didn't even see the back. But it's got Kirk in a hot dog suit, which is awesome. And <laughs> Luke and Taylor arguing about something. Um, yeah. And then on the side, it says eat like a Gilmore. And it's a binder that opens up and you have sleeves to put your recipe cards in. 
Is that not the coolest thing? I'm so excited. So now I'm on, gonna be on the lookout for my winter, spring, summer, or fall boxes um, because I want to definitely, definitely finish that whole collection. By far one of my most favorites, most favorites. And that says a lot because the Black Needle Society knows how to curate a box. Let me just be honest. So I'm gonna leave the fabric up on top because I need to reach out to one of the awesome folks, probably it's gonna be Athena, um, about my extra fabric. Cause I don't think I'm supposed to have two. I think I'm supposed to maybe have one. I'm not sure. Anywho, that's kind of all she wrote for stitching, plans, really cool unboxing. Well, not really unboxing because I already unboxed it, but showing you what I had unboxed, which leaves us with our very last thing of the day, which is our Teresa Kogut Angel Kindness Cards. So I chose this one. We've seen her before. She's gorgeous. I love this angel. I love kind of the autumnness of her. And so she kind of goes along with the autumn. I'm wishing for autumn right now. It's hot. I want it to be autumn and start to cool off, but it will not cool off around here until mid-October. Truly. Um, for good until mid to late October. It's been 80 degrees on Halloween before, which is really hard when costumes are not geared toward hot climate. Long story short, this one says, nobody's life is perfect. When you're going through tough times, keep on going. It's brighter ahead. So I just, I just love that. So if you are going through some tough times right now, there's brighter ahead. It can't stay dark and deep forever. Um, I hope you have a wonderful week until I see you next Friday. Um, I'm hoping this next week I can get in and start organizing some things in my new classroom space. Um, but we shall see. There's still a lot of building projects going on in our building. Who knows what that's going to look like. I have on my teaching is my happy place shirt today. Um, I know Robin, she loves to know what's on people's shirts. So mine says teaching is my happy place. Um, so yeah, I think that's about it. It's actually a little earlier than usual on this Friday. It's uh, two o'clock in the afternoon here in Texas. I hope you have a great rest of your day. Wonderful weekend ahead. Get some X's in your projects. And I will see you again next Friday. And I will say slash thing. So long, stitch well. I'll see you soon, my friends. Goodbye. Goodbye, and I'll see you next Friday.